show you how you can um, create an, a broadcast email inside Kit. Um, so, and, and when you're using Kit, there'll be two main types of emails that you'll create. One is uh, the broadcast email that I'm about to show you, which you can think about that as a almost like a one-off um, email that's going to be sent out to either your list or a subset of your list, um, and it's unlikely to be used again. That email, okay. Um, and the other type of email um, is called sequence, an email sequence, which as the name would suggest, is a series of emails that are sent out um, one after the other at a predetermined interval. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the email broadcast. So we'll start off by going to send, and then in here are the two options, broadcast and sequences. We're going to click on broadcast. And if you have already created some, you'll see the list of them down, down here. Um, obviously, if you're just starting using Kit, this this, will, this screen will be blank. You won't have any in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create this. Uh, click this button that says New Broadcast. It pops up the editor, the email editor, and um, it uses the, the the my default email template to to let me start typing um, my content. So let's imagine um, I'm going to send. Uh, what I'm actually doing with a broadcast is sending out, let's say, a weekly email. So I might send out a weekly newsletter let's say every Thursday um, so when I when I create the content for that email I'll literally just sit and type it into the editor here so I mean I'm not going to do it just now um, but you, you get the gist you can basically type in whatever you want in here um, and then you can also add in other elements okay so and the way to do that is this little plus sign here if you click on that you can see the other things that you can add in so I'll just give you a flavor of some of the things that I, you can use in your emails that I use if you wanted to take someone to um, a, a digital link somewhere, you could you could add in a button. The button by default appears in the middle of the editor. You can align it using the, these alignment tools here. So I'm going to left align it. I'm going to type in what I want the button to say. So I'm going to say, um, visit my new website. Let's imagine I had created a new website. I can change the color of that button to be um, something that's on brand for me. We can change the look and feel of the button. So I could say, give it full rounded corners or large corners or none at all whichever your preference is um, on there and then when you click on the button you'll notice over here on the right hand side it's got this um, box here for URL um, that's where you would type in the, the link to whichever digital asset you're going to send people to um, so I'm just going to copy in my website on a URL which is this one and I'll go back and paste it in there so that's going to take people to my to my website. Um, other things I can add in are um, products. So if I sell products um, via Kit, so if you don't know, Kit has a commerce platform built into it. So you can create, <coughs> excuse me, you can create products and services that you can that you can sell directly from within your emails and from other pages on either your your website or direct from a sales page inside Kit. Um, and what happens when you when you add in a product is uh, on the right hand side there will be a drop down list that shows you all the products you've got created in your in your kit account. Now this is just a demo account I'm I'm showing you here, so it's just all demo stuff that I'm showing you inside inside the, the email here. Um, but let's imagine it was let's say this kit um, email mastery course, click that, and then it pops in say the email so that people can literally buy it from within the email. They don't need to go anywhere else just by clicking the button. Um, and again, you can personalize the look and feel of that. If, if I wanted that button to be red too, I just need to click there and then um, click there and make that, that button red as well. Um, other things you can add in. <clears throat> and you can add in, I use these quite a lot, things called layouts. So layout is essentially uh, like a mini structure within your email. So it just allows you to lay things out nicely. So I'll click on that and that layout has now got options down the right hand side of what I want that layout to look like. So I can pick any one of these as a starting point that, that I want to um, create inside my email. So let's say it was um, that one there. So I may want to add in an image there. Um, go to Unsplash and let's say I was selling um, let's say a book. And then I pick that one and the image appears in there. So you get the gist that you can, you know, you can use these pre-built um, layouts that you can put your content inside. You can also change the, the look and feel of the actual layout as well. So if I wanted to get into that and make the background a different color, for example, um, I can do that. I can add in, um, I can add in more um, padding and margins around it to make it more readable. 
um, let to line that button, and I can also you know make those um, button uh, sorry those corners a bit round if I wanted to border radius just say large and it, and it puts a nice little radius on, on that. Um, other things that you can add in include doo -doo -doo -doo, recommendations. So if, if you're recommending people to the recommendation network, you can add them in. Um, you can add in polls. So if you if you want to ask your um, if you want to ask your subscribers a question and let them give you a response back, you can create a poll and embed that inside your email, um, uh, like that one there. Um, what else can we put in? We can put in products, groups, icons, snippets. Um, yeah, videos. So you obviously, you can embed videos as well. Um, countdown timer. So if you're if you're selling, you know, an upcoming webinar or course or something, you can embed that a countdown timer. And then you have a whole bunch of things like Spotify, TikTok, um, X3 assets from that and embed it inside um, your email. And then finally at the bottom you got what's um, a, more, a, bit, a little bit more advanced, but you can embed HTML code inside your um, inside your emails too if you want to. So essentially that's how you generate a broadcast email. You just include in there whatever you want to include, make it look and feel the way you want it to make it look and feel. Um, obviously you'd have a you know something meaningful. The, the weekly newsletter, I don't know, um, edition number 34, let's say. What are you going to have in there for your subject line? So this is what you put in here is what people will see listed in their, their email client. That, that, that's what's going to be the subject line. Um, if you want to preview a, a, an email that you're just about to send, you can click this little button here, pops up with a window, and that's what it's going to look like um, to, to people when, when they open up their email. You'll notice this little warning here, it just says one or more of your links contain empty href value. What that means is that I've got links in there that I haven't actually put a link um, to, so it's that button there that's complaining about. I've got to check out my studio and it's not got a link underneath it, so that, that's what it's warning you about. Um, essentially when you open up this uh, this preview tool, you can toggle the top right corner whether you want a desktop view or a mobile view. So that's what the email will look in mobile form. Um, so it gives you the opportunity to make sure it's still readable and legible for you, for your subscribers. And then you can actually send yourself a test email. So by clicking on that, just enter your email address in, click send the preview, and then that email will be sent to you, and then you can look and see what it looks like inside your inside your actual email client. Once you're happy that you've got that the way you want it, um, one other thing I should mention here, you can run A-B test if you want. A-B test is essentially um, an opportunity to, to, to test out two different um, um, type subject title, so I could say check out my latest newsletter edition. Um, I could use that as one subject line and use that one as another one. And then what happen happens is Kit will then send out, and by default the settings are in here, it will send out 15%, um, sorry let me say that again, it will send out the email to 15% of my email list. or, or, or 15% of the people I've selected to have this email um, using subject line A and it'll send another 15% out using subject line B and then it'll wait um, for a, a, a predetermined amount of time. It, by default it starts at four, at four hours so it's 240 minutes although you can reduce that if you want. Okay. Um, so let's say we, we go the default four hours. After four hours Kit then looks at all the emails that were sent so the 15% the to, to subject line A and the subject 15 to subject line B. It then deems which one to be the most um, successful title based on the number of opens, number of email opens it's had. Um, and let's say, in this case, subject line B1, let's say that was the most, it had the most opens of all the 30% that were sent out. Then the remaining 70% of your emails would be sent out using that, that winning subject line. Okay, so that's the way A-B testing works. So once you're happy with you've got the email you you want it, click on continue, and then you're presented with two options. Do you want to send it out via email? Do you want to send? Do you want to publish it to the web? Or you can do both. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to show you how to send it out via email. So by default, you've got all subscribers selected. Um, you can see I've only got 38 in this demo account, but they're all selected. Um, I, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't send it to these because they're all fictitious email subscribers. Um, so essentially, what I would do is. When, just for the purpose of this test, I would say um, when first name is John, 
and you can see it's got three subscribers. Now I might want to reduce that further. Um, I, would make, I might want to say email address contains um, brokenflows.com. I'm down to 31 subscriber. So I can send that email to myself. Um, when I get down near the bottom, I can, so you can, just, just to um, clarify that, you can use this um, matching criteria to get to the, the number of people you want to send your email list to. Um, um, by default, it will be sending now, although you can schedule it. So if you click on that little pencil, you can pick a date and time in the future and have it delivered at that time. Um, under the advanced options, the one that you probably want to use in here is this thing called pre preview text. Sometimes refused, refused uh, sorry, sometimes referred to as a pre-header text. Essentially think of this as a secondary subject line, a subject title. Um, so it's like the, the co-collaborator um, to your subject line. This is going to be shown inside the email client of the subscriber, but it won't actually appear within the email. <clears throat> Let's you make say something like, um, you'll want to check out the latest kit features, something like that. Um, so I, I, I might put that in there to accompany my, my newsletter. Um, once I'm happy with that, then all I need to do is click continue. So I'm sending it by now by default. Click continue. And it's going to pop up with a summary and say, this is what you're just about to send. Um, are you happy with this? So this is the subject title. This has been sent from this email address uh, and I'm sending it to this one subscriber. Um, send broadcast. Click that and it pops up and says, okay, you, you've sent that, that off. Um, and now that email will appear in my email box. And I'll just open up my email box and show you what it looks like uh, in here. So this is the email here. So as you can see, this came from me, John at Kitmaster, it's sent to me, and this is what the email looks like. Okay. So pretty straightforward how to set up a broadcast. Um, I mean, what you send inside your broadcast is really only limited by your creativity, your imagination, what it is you want to send. Right, so that's uh, how to set, uh, sorry, how to create a broadcast email inside your kit account. Cheers.